she hasn't seen her family for more than two months. Afaf Jamil is in her 30s and from Yemen. She used to live with her family in Saudi Arabia. Last May, she came to Yemen on a visit after her father died. But when she tried to return to Saudi Arabia, she was told she was not allowed to travel without a male relative or husband known as Mahram. I tried everything to get around the rules, to travel with my sister or my mother, but to no avail. Having a mahram was the only way I could travel. Houthi authorities in Yemen recently issued directives requiring women to travel with a mahram or with written consent from a male guardian. The ruling has been criticized by many rights organizations, including Human Rights Watch. A recent report published by the group paints a bleak picture of the conditions for women in the region. It says many countries in the Middle East and North Africa still prevent women from moving within their own country or traveling abroad without the permission of their guardian. Authorities often justify these restrictions by saying they are designed to protect women, but in fact they are a violation of freedom of movement, which is a basic right guaranteed to every person in the world. So these restrictions do not protect women, they deprive them of their rights. Afaf Jamil talks to her children in Saudi Arabia as often as she can. But being a long-distance mother is not easy. It's painful for a mother not knowing what her children are doing. What are they eating? What are they watching on TV and on their phones? They can watch anything uncensored these days. I try to communicate with them, but talking to each other via a screen is not enough. Her only hope now is that the Houthi authorities will reverse their decision. Only then will she be able to return to her country and see her children again.